The sophisticated engines in today's cars require fuels that most service stations cannot provide. Contrary to popular belief, all fuels are not the same. If you thought they were, then spend five minutes to watch this video. It'll change your views about fuel. All engines make carbon. It's a waste product of combustion. Without detergent in the fuel, the carbon spreads to the inlet system. Deposits will accumulate in a thick, hard crust baked on by engine heat, particularly on the inlet valves. Here, the carbon acts as a sponge, soaking up fuel and obstructing the free flow of the fuel-air mixture so the engine loses power. Detergent in the fuel helps wash carbon away before it can gain a stranglehold, helping to maintain performance. As a result, the engine starts more easily, runs more smoothly, uses less fuel and reduces exhaust emissions. David Ray is manager of test services at Ricardo Consulting Engineers, Europe's leading independent assessors of fuels and lubricants. He is a long-time believer in the need for detergent in fuel. We're talking about a, a very real problem here. Most modern engines simply can't function efficiently without a powerful detergent in the fuel. But amazingly, most fuels on sale in Great Britain still contain no detergent. The effects on the performance of the car as seen by the driver um, won't necessarily be immediately apparent, but inside the engine it's a very different story. Early in 1992, Shell commissioned Ricardo to undertake a rigorous 40-hour inlet valve test to provide independent proof that a detergent will minimize carbon deposit buildup. <laughs> Ricardo used the universally accepted standard CEC Opel Cadet engine test. This will be witnessed by Keith Howard from Autocar and Motor and scrutineered by Fred Matthews from the RAC. The Cadet engine is split. Two cylinders run on ordinary fuel without a detergent, the other two use the shell fuel containing the special additive. At the start of the test, new valves are weighed before being fitted to the engine head. Two 100-litre barrels are filled with ordinary fuel. Keith Howard chooses barrel B in which to mix a precise measure of Shell's special detergent additive. It is this special ingredient that makes Shell advanced so advanced. Outside the test bay, the barrels are hooked up to the two separate fuel lines. 30 minutes before the test begins, the engine is started. The engineer can now make his final adjustments. Using a VDU for reference, he ensures that the two carburetors are in balance. When the engineer is satisfied, the test can begin. Away we go. Now the computer's got control of it. The engine will run for 40 hours, continuously repeating an urban driving cycle for the equivalent of 1,200 miles. We've got a couple more minutes until the end of the test. Uh, when we've reached 40 hours, the computer will shut the engine down and then we need to leave it for 20 or 30 minutes to cool down. The engine head is taken off and the inlet valves removed before being re-weighed. Finally, they undergo a visual assessment of deposit volume and are given a numerical rating. So we've got to the end of the test, we've had a look at the components, weighed the valves, and there's no question we've got a, a very positive result here. The valve which ran on the ordinary fuel has built up enough deposits to materially affect the engine's performance. Even in a new car, this would mean poor cold starting, increased fuel consumption, and harmful exhaust emissions. The valve running on the treated fuel shows little or no deposit buildup. The importance of detergents can be clearly seen in this independent test. Yet 60% of all fuels sold in Britain contain no detergents. Only Shell uses detergents in all its fuels. Shell's Dr. Catherine Hickey explains the benefits. As you can see from those valves, not all fuels are the same. The detergent in shell fuels prevents the build-up of harmful deposits in the inlet system of the engine. This gives significant benefits for the motorist with maintained performance and drivability of the vehicle, improved fuel economy and a reduction in the harmful exhaust emissions. So, using a detergent will provide significant benefits. However, not all detergents are the same. 
In other tests at Ricardo, Shell tested Shell Advanced and four other leading retail brands of fuel that contain detergents and compared them against an ordinary fuel which doesn't contain detergent. The results were conclusive. The average deposit per valve using the ordinary fuel was around 500 milligrams, followed in descending order by four of the main retail brands. By far the best result was achieved by Shell Advanced, which was twice as clean as its nearest rival. Not all fuels are the same. In fact, no other fuel is the same as Shell Advanced, which is why manufacturers like these approve fuels such as Shell, which contain detergents. So more than ever, you can tell when it's Shell.